Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about fear of the Lord. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of fear of the Lord is Psalm chapter 34, verses 4 through 15. It says, I sought Yahweh, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him, and were radiant. Their faces shall never be covered with shame. This poor man cried, and Yahweh heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Yahweh's angel encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear Yahweh, you his saints, for there is no lack with those who fear him. The young lions do lack, and suffer hunger, but those who seek Yahweh shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of Yahweh. Who is someone who desires life, and loves many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. Yahweh's eyes are toward the righteous. His ears listen to their cry. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of fear of the Lord is found in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. It says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but the foolish despise wisdom and instruction. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Proverbs chapter 14, verses 26 through 27. It reads, In the fear of Yahweh is a secure fortress, and he will be a refuge for his children. The fear of Yahweh is a fountain of life, turning people from the snares of death. Passage number 4. This is from Matthew chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. The scripture says, Therefore don't be afraid of them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the darkness, speak in the light, and what you hear whispered in the ear, proclaim on the housetops. Don't be afraid of those who kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Rather, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Aren't two sparrows sold for an Asarian coin? Not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Therefore don't be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9 through 11. The Bible says, Instruct a wise person, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous person, and he will increase in learning. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. The knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied. The years of your life will be increased. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of fear of the Lord, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on fear of the Lord. Passage number 6 is from Psalm chapter 25, verses 12 through 15. It says, What man is he who fears Yahweh? He shall instruct him in the way that he shall choose. His soul will dwell at ease. His offspring will inherit the land. The friendship of Yahweh is with those who fear him. He will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever on Yahweh, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 through 18. The Bible says, I, wisdom, have made prudence my dwelling. Find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil. I hate pride, arrogance, the evil way, and the perverse mouth. Counsel and sound knowledge are mine. I have understanding and power. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, nobles, and all the righteous rulers of the earth. I love those who love me. Those who seek me diligently will find me. With me are riches, honor, enduring wealth, and prosperity. Passage number 8. 
The eighth verse on the subject of fear of the Lord is from Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. It reads, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. All those who do his work have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 1 John chapter 4, verses 16 through 19. The passage states, We know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love and he who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him. In this, love has been made perfect among us, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, even so we are in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has punishment. He who fears is not made perfect in love. We love him, because he first loved us. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of fear of the Lord is from Psalm chapter 19, verses 7 through 11. It says, Yahweh's law is perfect, restoring the soul. Yahweh's covenant is sure, making wise the simple. Yahweh's precepts are right, rejoicing the heart. Yahweh's commandment is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. Yahweh's ordinances are true, and righteous altogether. They are more to be desired than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the extract of the honeycomb. Moreover your servant is warned by them. In keeping them there is great reward. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of fear of the Lord. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to fear of the Lord, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.